Well, speaking of, of good dick, pause. In Utah, they've actually made polygamy legal. What does that got to do in Utah? Shit. Well, the Mormons. Yeah. Right. I lived in Sandy, Utah for a while. Really? I did. Why? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I I was singing I, the first time I ever went on the road for anything, you know, uh, 80s newspaper ad, background singer needed for singer Bobby Freeman. I'm thinking it's the motherfucker that sang The Swim, you know, and I'm like, oh, they need a background singer. And they're like, blah, 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 pack your bags, meet us in Sandy, Utah. But it was this guy named Bobby Freeman who was sort of like a Elvis knockoff guy who sang lounges, you know, at the Hilton Ballroom and shit like this. And they really did want background singers. So I flew to Sandy, Utah, and lived in the studio and went on the road with this guy. But our home base was in Sandy, Utah. I was like maybe one of three black people out there. And <laughs> I think I might be wrong with that count. But um, there was lots of the polygamy. I mean, that's just their thing. Well, that's they're why Mormons. they're in Utah and they're not Mormons. in San Francisco. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're Mormons. And honestly, I remember studying this in high school because polygamy went all the way up to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court actually struck it down because they felt that something to do with the, the general consensus of the values of America was against it. But I always thought... And we even discussed how this was just kind of weird because you have these willing participants. Who cares? Right. Who cares? It's not like this guy's living a double life. He's got two families and he gets caught and says, ah, polygamist. No. Right. Like everyone They're knows about together. it. They're living in the same house. Listen, sometimes a, a wife could use a sister wife when it comes to taking care of these motherfuckers. Sometimes I'm like, look, I don't feel like fucking this motherfucker this week. He's on my nerve. You go fucking. <laughs> you go it fuck can't him. work. You know, and you cook and I'll do the dishes or whatever. Like, it can't work. You know, African tribes had multiple wives. Oh, yeah. Well, Muslim Muslim culture, and I remember speaking to Muslims about this, like from Africa and so mm -hmm. forth in the Middle East. Not only is it allowed, but it's actually encouraged and sometimes required when a man has a certain amount of money. Sure. He should... He's kind of he's considered like selfish if he does not support multiple women. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, like you have all this money and you just have one wife, or you could have you could be helping to support five different women and have more children. And everyone, you know, but there's certain rules around it where you can't put the the young wife in the mansion and have the old wife like in a shack. Like everyone has to be treated there's a equally. Tenure. Yeah. Well, everyone has to be treated equally. So if, if you buy one wife a house, you have to buy the other four a house also. If you buy one wife a goat, you got to get the other wife a goat. Yeah, exactly. Goats for everybody. Goats for everybody. Goats for everybody. You get a goat. You get a goat. You get a goat. I mean, I had to share a motherfucker back in the 70s one time, you know. It worked out well for me. Yeah. She wasn't so happy. It was recently announced that Brian Tyree Henry who is best known for playing Paperboy on the on the series for Atlanta, you know, the Atlanta series, okay. Donald Glover's series, will be Marvel's first gay superhero. Well, if he has a snazzy outfit and he can fly, <laughs> I can see it, you yeah. know. He may not be the first. He may be the first we're talking about. The first, the first out of the closet. I mean, hell, look at Superman was always dressing in drag. He'd jump up in the fucking <laughs> phone booth and pull off his clothes, put his little outfit on, go fly and fuck around. You know, he and never did marry uh, Lois Lane. Lois Lane. Well, if you really think about it, when you look at just the overall fashion sense of pretty much all superheroes. But you talk about Batman and his tights and Robin and right. that shit. Yeah, I mean, you got Robin, you got Superman, you got pretty much, I mean, all you the X-Men. You have to wear that to make you fly better. All the X-Men, I mean, you, like, you who wears this? You fly in pockets. You got to fly sleek. <laughs> the aerodynamics, you got to have a little outfit on, like, that leotards and shit. Yeah, it, it's, uh, listen, it, it is what it is. And, you know, you and I have talked about this. The, the gay community don't play when it comes to people who they feel 
are slighting them. Like, you know, we talked about Boosie earlier in the interview. He got banned from Planet Fitness. They, the manager, who I guess was gay, was so upset over the comments he made about Dwayne Wade's son <laughs> that he banned him from Planet Fitness. Planet Ooh. Fitness, and let me just Look, say, <laughs> Planet Fitness is like, what, $10 a month? Fitness, no more. <laughs> they be doing me a fucking favor if they ban me from Planet Fitness. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. Well, Brian Tyree Henry, good luck with that role. It's going to be interesting to see I what happens. I don't know a lot of gay comic book readers, but there's everybody. I, you know, there's, just because I don't know them don't mean the, the fuck out there. But I think that any superhero, gay or straight, or any gay character that they show in a positive light that is helping people and maybe helping people to understand things and teaching good lessons is all right with me. You know, I don't read my gay superhero flying down and slapping lipstick on motherfuckers, but, you know, if you're teaching teachable moments that can help with, like I said, the bullying, bullying and shit, right on, right on. They can be a superhero. Well, uh, just recently, Billy Porter apparently is going to be on Sesame Street. That's fine. And I believe there's there might be a gay Sesame Street character coming up. That's cool too. And it's interesting. I remember I was talking to a woman about this, and we were talking about. Isn't there already gay characters on? Sesame they they say Bert and Ernie are gay, but it was never confirmed. Well, how? In, in fact, know? Sesame Street said Bert and Ernie are not gay or straight. They're not sexual. They're Muppets. They're they puppets. don't have. They don't have genitalia. <laughs> they don't have genitalia, so you, they can't really be anything. They don't kiss and but, stuff. I remember I was talking to a female about Billy Porter, and, and she's like, yo, the thing about Billy Porter is his outfits are so on point. That's fucking fabulous. <laughs> oh, look, See, look. I, I, don't, I don't view this. Like, as a man, I'm like, whatever. But apparently from a woman's perspective, like, he is just so fly with his we shit. We just want everybody to be great. If you're going to be a drag queen, be a great one. If you're going to be cross-dresser, be a great one. Caitlyn Jenner missed the fucking mark. You don't want to change your voice yet, Caitlin? Sound like a linebacker. If you look like <laughs> fucking Hollywood Heart, which was Ving Rhames, mm, mm, mm. But if you're going to be that, if you're going to express yourself, try to be the baddest motherfucker out there. Try to do... Billy Porter is, like, changing opinions of people, you know, about what people can wear and stuff like that. But that's... Billy Porter. I don't think that a line of clothes is going to come out like that for the brothers and Calvin Klein's going to go like, you know, Dion Cole is catching hell for them bell bottoms. Oh, those bell bottoms. I saw that. I saw that. Uh, them bell bottoms. I, I know them. Dion. I mean, he's been on the show a few times. You know, I know Dion. I've been knowing Dion for yeah. five years. But he did look like he had childbearing hips in his <laughs> bell bottoms. When I saw those bell bottoms, and you know, we can't show the picture of I, sure, I thought the shit was Photoshop. I said, Dion ain't put no shit like that. <laughs> and Dion is, well, I mean, th there's nothing really feminine about no, those Dion bell bottoms. No, Dion loves bitches. Yeah. But, but <laughs> I said, oh shit, they done got to him. They don't fucking got to him. Here, put these, if you wear these bell put bottoms, these bell you'll, bottoms on, you'll, be, the you'll be the next Lord of the Rings. Yes. <laughs> You will have the starring role. I said, I didn't fucking <laughs> Meet me in my him. hotel at 4 a.m. I am it. I said, I thought, I, you know, I don't see that goddamn good. I'm like, is he, what? What is Dion? I thought somebody photoshopped and shit. No, it was him. Apparently, he was beefing with somebody. I forgot who it was. He was going back and, and they forth. they bet him? Tell me it was a bet. No, he was beefing. Like, like they were arguing know, on the internet. But was, if he lost the, the beef, I, I, he had to wear the bell bottom. I mean, he still looked good, but just from here up. It wasn't his style for me. I mean, Dion could wear the fuck he want to, but for me, I was like side-eyeing that shit. I'm like, <laughs> that'd like, be like me throwing up with some old Lizzo thong on. They'd be like, bitch, what? 